Welcome everyone. Before watching this video, it is suggested to watch previous video about section 169. You can find link of video in description. Keep in mind the simple example of Mr. A and Mr. B discussed in that previous video. Let's now talk about today's topic. Section 152 subsection 1D. This subsection is about payment to non-resident for capital gains on debt securities. Let's go to tax regime link and then click on this green box. Now we are on a slide which is about section 169. From here click on link for our today's discussion. The taxation of this transaction will follow the same pattern as was discussed in video of section 169. The transaction under discussion is between a non-resident company which does not has a permanent establishment in Pakistan and a Pakistani bank. A foreign investor can directly contact a scheduled bank for opening their special convertible rupee account, SCRA. Let's talk a little about SCRA first. You can pause the video if you are interested in reading the circular. In 1992, the government of Pakistan allowed non-residents to trade freely in the shares quoted on the stock exchanges in Pakistan. For this purpose the non-residents were required to open a special convertible rupee account with any authorized dealer in Pakistan. Authorized dealers are the scheduled banks in Pakistan. Such accounts can be fed by remittances from abroad. The balance available therein can be used for purchase of any share quoted on the stock exchange. Payment for such purchases are debited to the account. The fund available in such special rupee account can be transferred outside Pakistan at any time without prior approval of the State Bank of Pakistan. Let's move back to our presentation. The transaction flow will be such that, the non-resident corporate investor will deposit funds in SCRA. Then we'll use these funds to invest in securities listed on stock exchange. We have attached an informative PDF file which will open if you click on this stock exchange icon. You can pause the video if you want to read this document. Let's move back to presentation. Capital gain arising on the disposal of debt instruments and government securities including treasury bills and Pakistan investment bonds will be credited to SCRA. The Pakistani bank will deduct tax from these capital gains. Click on red box to know the rate of tax. The tax rate applicable is 10%. This deducted tax is final tax on income of non-resident corporate investor. If we just go back to our six basic questions and then go to link for geographical source of income, you can recall that Pakistan source income of non-resident is taxable in Pakistan. So the non-resident company which has earned capital gains has earned an income which is Pakistan source income. Therefore, tax must be paid on such income in Pakistan. Let's go back to our relevant slide. Press this home icon. Then tax regime link. Then the green box. Then the relevant link. You must read about today's discussion in income tax ordinance. We hope you have got the idea of this transaction and its taxation. Your questions are welcomed in comments section. See you all in our next video.